you're starting year 11 and I bet you're a little bit worried and I can tell you're a little bit worried because you're here watching this video um but it's going to be okay I know maybe lots of you are watching the the videos last week from um GCSE results day looking at how well everyone did looking at kind of like how stressed everyone was the night before and if you haven't then just go and look at those videos go and look at the comments on those videos and it will give you a real impression of how everyone was feeling last week um but it's going to be okay. And there were quite a lot of things that we can do now to make it more okay. The, the more we do now, the better things will be because the majority of people don't start revising, don't start working until Easter and little and often is the way to go. For example, if for an exam you have to do 30 hours worth of study, I'm not saying how much you have to do, an hour a week, you know, 20 minutes three times a week spread over an entire year is much nicer than trying to fit 30 hours of chemistry into the Easter holiday for your exam. So little and often is the way to go. Now there are a few things I've done to help you out with this. Um, to make sure that you know everything, to make sure that you've covered everything over on website free for you to download are just kind of like revision guides and they're checklists of everything you need to know. And there's a column which you can fill in where you can start um, these are the bits that I know. Um, it starts like seven months before the exams which is about now. Sorry guys, you don't have a whole year. Whoops. Um, and you can just start to fill in and see which areas you need to work on. And then you can look at the videos and then work on the areas from those videos and you can improve yourself. For example, if there's a miss lesson you missed or um, a lesson that got cancelled because of something or there was a cover teacher and you didn't really understand what was going on or there was a fight in the back of the classroom, um, there were lots of reasons you might have missed a lesson even if you were actually in the lesson. Now, revision really should start now because the sooner you start your revision, the, you can do it in smaller, smaller chunks. You don't have to do massive chunks. So doing kind of like five, 10 minutes a day, every day is gonna be much better than doing large, large chunks all at once. Now, to help you with this, over my website, I've written you loads at thousands of multiple choice questions. And you can sit there on your phone and do the multiple choice questions. Now, this is meant to be like low pressure revision because nobody can check up on you, nobody can see what you're doing, nobody can set the work for you. You go in and say, okay, so on my checklist, I need to do a bit of work on my irons, go find the quiz on irons, do the quiz. And you get half of it wrong. Well, that's okay because literally nobody but you knows that you got half of it wrong. And then you do the quiz again and you get a few more right and you do it again and you get a few more right and you do it two or three times and then hopefully by the end of two or three times you're starting to get them all right. And this is a great, great way for you to learn stuff. There was a really, really interesting study and I'm not going to go into the details of educational research studies because you are not interested that said doing these like low stakes multiple choice quizzes over and over again really, really improves your week or four exams. And we know a big chunk of the exams is going to be your recall. Now so you may be thinking about school, maybe kind of like in preparation for your mocks, your teachers are going to be handing around leaflets saying, you know, do you want to buy one of these revision guides? Um, if you buy it through school, you'll get it X amount cheaper. And I'm going to say wait on buying revision guides and workbooks. And the reason I'm saying wait on buying revision guides and workbooks is because I'm working on a project, there are loads of us working on this project, and it's a new it's a really, really new concept in revision and workbooks. And it takes the kind of like the the old, uninteresting, been around for years, haven't changed in any way at all revision guides and workbooks that, you know, that that's what everyone's always done. So that's what everyone still always does. And it's not it's not good. And we've taken that and we've thought, this isn't good, this isn't working for students. What do we know based on theory? What do we know based on research and active practice? actually works for students and a load of us are busy frantically writing this new style of book which 
is honestly completely revolutionary. There's nothing like it on the market at all. But it's not going to be out until January. So I know it's not going to be out in time for your mock. So I'm really, really sorry. There's nothing I can do to make it go any faster. But it is going to be worth waiting for. Um, it is going to be worth waiting until January when it is out. And then when it does come out in January, you'll be able to get the massive discount when you buy it through your school. What is out now is my practical books and they are um, brilliant. And I can say that because I wrote them. We have this time of year where you can try lots of different revision techniques. Um, you can try something and it not work and it'll be okay. For example, you can spend an hour making a mind map and then realise that you actually don't like making mind maps and you don't revise well from mind maps. And oh, it's okay to waste an hour this early in the year because this is all about trying stuff out and finding what does work. If you spend an hour in May, right up to your exams, making a mind map, then well, we can't really afford to waste an hour in May. But now, we can afford to waste time. So flashcards, mind maps, making your own videos. Um, you can make videos in PowerPoint if you set transitions and then save it as a video file, which you can then watch yourself back or you can record yourself doing flashcards or you can set up a load of flashcards on Quizlet. Um, there are lots and lots of different ways where you can practice revising and now is the right time to do that because by the time we get to April, May, things are going to be really, really stressful and um, we don't really have time to practice or make mistakes. So practice your rising now, do little and often, multiple choice questions have been proven to increase um, your recall in exams. So that would be a really, really great thing for you to do. And then the final thing, the most important thing you must do this year is to look after yourself to look after your mental health to make sure that you're going to be okay at the end of this because nobody wants you to come out of the exams kind of like it's gonna be the 14th 15th 16th of june um so tired and exhausted because you've done things but study all year that you're kind of broken nobody wants that we want you to be happy we want you to be healthy we want you to have had time off and relaxing things and looked after mental health so try things like exercise and mindfulness and talking to people and spacing out your work a little and often going to bed early um and doing nice things for yourself so good luck guys um i'm gonna be here with you every single step of the way we can do this